All right, we want to establish the magnetic polarity of a current carrying coil. So here we have a current carrying coil hooked up to a battery using conventional current flow. And in this case, we'd have to use a right hand rule. And here we have a current carrying coil hooked up to a battery using electron flow. And we'd have to use a left hand rule. So we want to establish current flow, in this case, conventional current flow. Current is flowing this way, from positive to negative, and you can see the way the current will flow on the coil. All right. Now, using electron flow, and we're going to use, we know that current goes from negative to positive, and so we can establish the current flow on the coil. Now we establish the direction of current flow, we can establish the polarity of the current carrying coil. To do this, uh, we use two tips. The fingers point in the direction of the current flow, and the thumb points to magnetic north pole. So, if uh, we'll start with this one, if we're using conventional current flow using our right hand, we our fingers follow the arrows and our thumb points in the direction of north. So in this case, this is magnetic north. Of course, that would be south. Now using the electron flow, we're going to use the left hand rule, in which case the fingers point in the direction of current flow and the thumb points to magnetic north. So again, this is north pole and this is South Pole. The tricks to remember is if you're using electron flow, use the left hand rule. And if you're using conventional current flow, make sure to use the right hand rule.